So we will, we will deal with people who may not like us. We will deal with people who may not vote like us. But at the end of the day, I do not care what you look like, who you pray to, where you walk, or how you vote. But what I do care about is the fact that an injustice was done. Now, y'all done got me carried away. I know that people said that, you know, I switched accents. <laughs> but my daddy in Denmark, in Denmark, South Carolina, my daddy would always say, you never argue with a fool because you don't know who's watching. Amen. And they can't tell the difference. All right. Make your heart safari. But I'm saying today, for everybody, we on the same side and we want justice. Amen. We actually had a conversation. We stand together. We got, we got Khalil. We got his brother on FaceTime right here. We got Khalil's mama right here. We have the mother of the family. We have five kids. And I don't care how you vote. I don't care if you're black or white. I don't care if you don't like me. But have a moral conscience for the injustice that's going on. Right. The media has to gain control and say, we demand some transparency and some action from this body. We don't know what the video is going to show because they ain't shown us nothing. And we also have bad laws in the state of North Carolina. And everybody should be held accountable for the fact that in Columbus, in Columbus, Ohio, in Columbus, Ohio, in Columbus, Ohio, the video came out in a few hours. And you hear that pain? You hear the pain of the young lady in the back? That pain is all throughout the community. And so, and so the last point I want to make is one of the worst questions, one of the worst questions we always get asked. My last point is this, one of the worst questions we always get asked is, can the family tell everybody to be calm and peaceful? And people always come up to the family and put that onus on them. All right. You know, they always say, can the, can the family have a message to people? We, we appreciate the people who are protesting peacefully. We appreciate that. But if we want calm, if we want justice, then that onus is not on this family. That onus is the people who are hiding the information we need to get answers. And so I, I, I know that we want to yell. I know we want to scream. But I just ask that you all take a moment and breathe and pray for Khalil. Amen. Khalil's going to come up. And Khalil is the only one that's in this audience, I do believe, that actually had to witness his father be executed. So again, I don't care what you look like, who you vote for, or who you like or don't like up here. I understand that. But let's lift this young brother up because he's witnessed something and he's now a part of a fraternity that none of us want to be a part of. Amen. 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 Amen.